Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman Free and the Elusive Target Arcade. And today's arcade, the Carte Blanche. This is a free level arcade starting off in Paris and our first target, Howard. Uh, we have uh, additional enforcers throughout this arcade and also whilst taking out Howard we need to retrieve a filigree egg. So we will be starting undercover at the Iago auction and the only item we need to bring with us will be a lockpick our ever trusty lockpick. So right from the start and off the bat we're not going to move because Dahlia Margolis as you can see is addressing the audience and also an enforcer. So we're going to wait for her to turn away and then quickly exit our chair and the room via the door behind us. We're going to make our way through the entrance hall at the top of the stairs here into the attic and out through the window on our right and then scoot along to our left and into the window and this will be Dahlia Margolis's private bathroom. We're going to turn on the radio and that will distract one of the now two guards in Dahlia's office. So when the guard comes in to investigate, we are going to wait for him to turn the radio off, giving the door a chance to close as well. And when he turns the radio off, we will pounce on him, render him unconscious and deposit him in the closet provided. So as soon as that radio goes off, we're going to jump on him, get him unconscious get his body well hidden. If we're quick enough we can do this before Dahlia arrives, although we will have to wait her out at some point. So with the first guard dealt with, we're now going to overflow the sink. Uh, you notice we've left the gun on the floor there as well. That is just an extra distraction. So when the guard comes in to investigate, again we're going to let the doors close pounce on the guard as quickly as the doors have closed, turn off the sink ourselves and deposit the guard in the closet along with his colleague. Now unfortunately by this point Dahlia Margolis will be arriving or has already arrived and she is about to engage in a lengthy conversation with the gentleman you can see standing just to my left there. Now this guy glitches out and costs us quite a bit of time. As you can see he stops all of a sudden and just starts guarding and he sticks there for a little while before breaking and finally moving on. But instead of following Dahlia he's gonna, now gonna go the other way out. So we're just gonna let him get away. He's cost us valuable time. So we may have to wait around considerably longer downstairs. But once he does vacate the area we can then access Dahlia's office and the safe and take the filigree egg. We're then going to retrace our steps back out into the stairwell. So back out through the bathroom window, back in through the attic window and we're going to make our way down the stairs past the two guards and around to our left and we're going to use instinct here just to check on the other guards in this area because we are about to be trespassing. So the guard you can see there in the bold highlight is about to move over to the right here and once he does we have a few seconds to get into the large dining room area. There we go. Before the guard at the end of the corridor turns around and walks back. And once he passes these central doors here, we can then continue on around and into the stairwell on the other side of the building where we will find a tech worker. We're going to render that tech worker unconscious, take his outfit and continue down to the ground floor. And we're now going to go and meet and greet our target. And he's going to be frequenting quite a large area around here. 
he has quite a long routine as well so hopefully we haven't lost too much time but we're going to make our way out of the building into the pond area out the back here and there is our target hello sir I'll be with you in a moment just need a few more things so just at the back of the garden here we will find a screwdriver we're going to take that screwdriver and around to the outside bar area and just on the wall here we will find a switch we're going to turn that switch off cutting power to the plug socket in the puddle here so that we can now expose one of the wires and then return to the switch and we're just going to wait here for our target now like i said you could be waiting quite a while and do be aware that other people frequent this area namely the photographer and they may step in the puddle so just be aware so once our target returns we can then fry him quickly the money has been wired to your account and then all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and we're going to go for the car park entrance which is directly behind us so all we have to do is run straight there no enforcers to worry about it's a nice clean shot straight to the exit so there we go level one taken care of and moving on next to level two which i believe is in marrakesh So moving on to level 2 and we have Mr Giggles here in Marrakesh and we also need to retrieve his guest list as usual extra enforcers will ensue. So for this one we will be bringing with us some lethal poison and a remote enigmatic gas grenade in a briefcase. So right from the start and off the bat we are going to jump up immediately, grab our briefcase and we are going to head for the Shisha Cafe and we're going to head through the market area uh, behind the stalls as there's far less people here we can make it through much quicker. So when we get to the Shisha Cafe we wish to walk down the side entrance here and we are going to stop by the uh, piles of linen I think it is and once the waiter has his back to us we're going to vault inside grab the invitation from the table and make our way straight to the toilets at the far end of the shisha cafe in here we're going to take out our gas grenade and return it to our briefcase thus activating it and then we're going to use the invitation we've gained to enter into the members only club now in here is a young lady in a black dress and she has the guest list we, we require so she will make her way around she's currently just over at the bar there are a few people trying to defy gravity in this building but we're just gonna wait right here there's a gentleman just sitting there in the air right next to our lady so she's going to make her way around to this area which is lucky for us because it's right by the toilets and when she stops to make a phone call we can then trigger the gas grenade prompting her to utilize said toilets where we will be waiting to render her unconscious so once she arrives we're just going to get her in that green mist make our way into the toilets and we're just going to wait for her to arrive now and when she does we can then render her unconscious while she's throwing up here she is so we're just going to let the door close before we move pounce on the young lady grab the guest list that she's dropped that's the important bit and then we're going to hide her body in the crate provided so now we can move on to our target but we need a change of disguise so we're going to cross to the far side 
of the Shisa Cafe, and this is our disguise. So our timing stinks, and we just missed the waiter. So once he's wandered off, we're going to turn on the radio in the corner of the cubicle there, make our way to the outer cubicle, and await the return of the waiter. It shouldn't be too long, but when he does return, he will notice the radio is on, and he will move in to turn it off. Now at this point, I strongly recommend just pouncing on the waiter as quickly as you can and turning the radio off yourself, it will get you a better opportunity once we get to Mr. Giggles. Unfortunately, I waited for the waiter to turn the radio off and by the time I get to Mr. Giggles, the perfect opportunity has passed me by. So we will have to wing it ever so slightly. So once the waiter is in this area, render him unconscious quickly as you can, get him in the box, get his outfit on, and we're now gonna head straight for Mr. Giggles, who is currently on a rooftop out uh, on above a shoe shop, I believe. And we're gonna go the long way there. And you can go directly to the front door and the shop owner will eventually open the locked door and you can follow them in or you can go this way and up and over the rooftops which technically might work out to be a little bit quicker depending on your timing it is also much much safer so we're just going to make our way around to the carpet shop up the drain pipe and follow the ledges leading us around to the rooftops here we are, lots of satellite dishes, I'd say this is a rooftop. We're going to scoot across and down the other side, and this is where Mr. Giggles is about to have a meeting. And when I say about to, I mean quite literally about to. So if we hadn't waited for the waiter, we would have had the perfect opportunity to just vault over the wall, poison the glass, and make good our escape with no one the wiser. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait out this conversation and when Mr. Giggles finally dismisses his friend there and by making him very sick, Mr. Giggles will make his way to the front of the building to watch him exit and while he is doing that, we're going to render the waiter unconscious by dragging him over the wall. We're then going to vault the wall ourselves, poison the coffee cup on the table just to our left. I'm going to move the waiter over this way a little bit just so that no one on the upper floor can see. And at this point you can now just leave and head for the exit. But as usual for the purposes of the video I will stick around and witness the kill. So down goes Mr. Giggles, we are going to now make good our escape and the easiest way out is retracing our steps back across the rooftops which will bring us back down to terra firma behind the carpet shop where there is an exit. So there we go, level 2 taken care of, next up we'll move on to level 3. So moving on to level 3 and we are in Sapienza and we have to take out Dylan here, the twin. Now this is a very tricky one. So we will be starting at the harbour and the only item we need to be bringing with us will be a enigmatic gas grenade in a briefcase. As I mentioned this was a very tricky one. So immediately we're going to cut the skip scene and pull our gas grenade from the briefcase, replace it back in the briefcase and we're now going to make a beeline for the pier area. Uh, this will have to be done as quickly as possible 
and what we're going to do is make our way over to that little cave section you can see right in front of us and we're just going to drop our briefcase on the floor here uh, select our camera and we're going to run around to where the anchor is and we're going to use our camera to identify our target so one of these two has this almost imperceptible watch and it's the gentleman on the right there and unfortunately his twin is the one who moves first and he has picked up the briefcase so that we have no choice but to start all over again immediately from the start uh, retrieve your brief uh, your gas grenade and replace it we're gonna make our way back over to the little cave area leading up to the pier and we're gonna drop our uh, briefcase once again this time I'm gonna drop it on the other side because it seems the uh, non watch wearing twin often goes first not always but often so we're gonna try and place the briefcase somewhere slightly different we're now going to use our camera to locate our target so which one is it? Now the trouble with this is, normally it's quite easy, but they're both enforcers. So the very few opportunities that we have to get them, which are mostly poison opportunities, are no longer viable. So once our target goes in to collect the briefcase, he has to be the one to spot the briefcase, otherwise you restart and do it again and again until he is the one to find the briefcase. Once he goes in to collect that briefcase, we can then detonate it. He will get sick, he's no longer an enforcer, but he's gonna continue on as normal until he locates someone to take the briefcase. I think he's managed it. And once he's done that, he will casually walk to the toilets giving no indication apart from the circle above his head that he is actually sick and everyone else reacting to him like he's sick but he walks quite normally and he's going to make his way into this cubicle in the toilets so when he comes in we can just close the door behind him see if we can't doubly check that he has his watch but he's holding his stomach you can't really tell but we know it's him so we're going to tell him that he's allergic to kittens. Target eliminated. The money has been wired to your account. So that will get you level three. This was really, really difficult to figure out. I actually failed this and had to wait the 12 hours. Uh, because basically your two targets are the enforcers and you cannot get close enough to them to identify which one is your actual target or not uh, the use of the camera is highly recommended to get that zoom level in there either way we got it done in the end i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video